Hi guys, I'm Gavin James and you're watching Essex TV. Hi. Fucking traffic everywhere and I hope you understand what I'm saying because I'm Irish and I'm ginger and I hope you understand what I'm saying. So I'm sure you're having a fucking clue what I'm saying. But I'm Gavin James and I'm going to start some songs. I was never good. What would you say is the inspiration behind a couple of your songs? A couple of my songs. Um, well, 22 is kind of based on uh, bullying in school. So when I was in school, obviously, I got a little bit bullied and people that were in my class got bullied and then I got bigger and then I started like, spilling out, I'm bigger than you, so it's fine. But, um, and then my nieces and nephews are in school, so I'm kind of relating back to them. It's like when I was in school, when I was younger, I wish I was 22, I wish I was older. Not really, well, 22, just the age, it rhymes a lot of stuff as well, which helps with the song. It's 22, 32, yeah, it rhymes. It could be 25, not really. Hey, hey. So, what was your first gig like? My first gig was in a skate park. I'm tired of missing you when you're gone. Um, our drummer broke his arm before the gig. Uh, well, the day before the gig, so he was playing with one arm for the whole gig. So it's pretty much like a Def Leppard cover band, pretty much. And he, uh, we just a three piece, and we pretty much just played ACDC for the whole set. I was like 15. Can you teach me how to do the accent? The accent? Oh, somebody told me the other day uh, how to do the accent. Say, uh, my name is. My name is. That's all right, yeah, that's <laughs> like I say, like, what's the crack? What's the crack? <laughs> like, like the crack. Crack. Uh, the crack is ninety. The crack is ninety. So ah, uh, the ninety was still a bit in it. I, I, empty promises and warning signs left our eye burning out like fireflies. There's no need. Where would you like to tour in the future? Future, ah, oh, I don't know, states probably. I'd love to like just do a cheap tour of the states, like small places, like in an RV, and just like go around like just me and like a few people, and just be like, yep, yeah, just treat it like that. Just, like breaking bow, like without all the meth. And stuff, you know? When are you coming home? So I heard that you're opening for James Blunt. Are you excited? Like, how are you preparing? Well, that's good. I'm doing it this day. I did a few gigs with him in, in France and in, in uh, Belgium in March. It was March. It was March, yeah. And that was a lot of fun. And I did. I just got back from Germany with him. And uh, he's he's mad. He's like did the machine. Like he just goes and goes. He's like it's crazy cool. Like, he's just a nice dude ever as well. So I was on the bus with him and uh, all the band, so it's a lot of fun. And I'm doing his Dublin show next week, which is gonna be like my mum and dad, like my whole family's going as well. And he actually knows my mum and dad now, oh, wow. which is weird enough, so he's like, like we did it, I brought my mum and dad to, to Paris for one of the gigs with him, and then uh, before he went on stage, he stopped. And he had to go on stage, like he's literally there waiting for him to go on. He just stopped for like about five minutes and started chatting to my mum and dad. Oh, 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 oh. So I heard on your mother's side, your grandparents sing opera. Do you sing any opera? No, no, I'm crap with that. I can't do that. No, I got too much of a girly voice for that. <laughs> yeah. What have been your best moments so far? So far, um, right now. Right now, this is the best moment of my life. I need no aim. Till you ran away, till you ran away. Cheers, thank you very much.